Hello, on today's episode of Unearthed with YouTube Music, you're going to be talking about your Unearthed playlist. Then we have this vagabond that is Mahalia, Grace Carter, Slow Tie, Koji, Radical. What's the, what's the playlist in its entirety on YouTube Music? Hi, and welcome to Unearthed with YouTube Music. Today we have an amazing special guest, Grace Carter. Thanks for coming. No, thank you. I'm a massive fan. I've heard that you've made a playlist with some of your favourite videos on YouTube Music. Before we find out what you've picked, what's the first song that you really connected to as a kid? I remember the first time I heard Nina Simone when I was eight. My mum played her in the car and it was kind of the first time that I'd ever cried from anything that wasn't like knocking my elbow on a wall. <laughs> um, and yeah, I was just fascinated by the kind of depth of her vocal and the passion and the emotion that she put into her music and the way that she performed it. I just like completely fell in love with her. Cool, so let's get into your selections. What did you pick first? I went for a live performance of Sampha doing No One Knows Me Like The Piano. Um, that video and that live performance for me inspired one of my videos um, for one of my songs, Silhouette. I just think the simplicity of it and the beauty of how he's just like sat at a piano surrounded by like a gradient background. I just, I, there was something really interesting about the fact that he was silhouetted and I was, yeah, I just found it really inspirational. Oh, I'm a massive fan of Sampha too. So let's get on to your next song. So this one is a bit different. It's not what anyone would expect, but it's Peter Gabriel. Do you know who that is? No, I don't. So Peter Gabriel had a song called Sledgehammer and the video for that, it was like stop motion and animation and for me, it's just very fascinating. I'd never seen anything like it before. I'm definitely gonna have to check that one out. But what's next on your playlist? Next on my playlist is Angie Stone, Wish I Didn't Miss You. This song is literally one of my favorite songs ever. I covered it actually recently. I actually love that track so much. I think it's my favorite of yours. Yeah, I mean, I haven't quite got there yet. All my songs are super sad, but she definitely nailed it. And, and that's why it's one of my favorite songs. That's really beautiful. So hit me with the next one. Yeah, so my next choice is Sade. The fact that she was a British artist and could be understood and could translate to an American audience for me is like a massive goal that people can listen to my music and understand me and what I'm about. So the next one, Kanye, Jay-Z and Frank Ocean. I mean, this song for me, when I first heard it, it was like stuck in my head forever. The bass line, the drums, like, I think the three of them coming together on that tune just was like an exciting thing for me because I love them all. So your next choice is also work with Jay-Z and that is Alicia Keys. Do you want to tell me more? Alicia Keys for me is one of those artists that I was obsessed with her music from the minute that I heard it. But I was also obsessed with her as a young mixed race girl. Mm -hmm. And I grew up with half of my family. I didn't grow up with the black side of my family. I saw a lot of myself in her and I, very, I identified with her musically and physically. I actually really resonate with that too. So have you ever had the opportunity to see Alicia Keys live? I haven't seen Alicia Keys live and I'm very sad about it, but I know it will happen at some point and She's one of the artists that, like, is my dream collaboration. Well, maybe she'll see this video and become a fan of yours. Hopefully. Talk into existence, people, please. <laughs> so I'm getting a bit emotional now that it's time for your last choice. So this one better be good. Yeah, well, the next one and the last one I've picked is The Carters. I actually wanted to ask, are you guys related? Mm, I wish I could say yes but they're not my mum and dad. I mean, it would be sick. Although a lot of people believe they are, it's actually really funny. They had their tour and they were playing in Cologne and at the show, there was a massive billboard promoting my show. And after it, I got so many DMs from people asking if they were my mum and dad. But um, yeah, they're not my mum and dad. So that's it. Thank you so much, Grace, for being involved in Unearthed with YouTube Music. The pleasure was all mine. Thank you so much to NTS and Noisy for putting this together. And you can watch the full playlist now on YouTube Music.